Hi everyone, I'm Amanda Howell. I'm the business librarian here at UW-Whitewater, and today I'm gonna to give you some tips for citing using Chicago Style. Chicago Style has two main formats. The first format uses footnotes, and the second format uses author date references. This video is going to focus on the author date format. In this video, we'll discuss how to cite books. There will be other videos for citing articles and websites, as well as for creating a reference list. There are other sources you may need to cite, in which case you should consult the Chicago Manual of Style, available in Anderson Library at the reference desk. It's important that you give credit to others for the work that they've done so you can avoid plagiarism. Not doing so, intentionally or not, is misrepresenting your own work and may result in serious academic and legal ramifications. When citing a book, you need to find the following information. The author's first and last name, the date of publication, the title of the book, the publishing city, and the name of the publisher. Note that all important words in the title of the book, excluding articles and prepositions, are capitalized. Most of this information can be found on the title page. Let's take a look at this book written by Lee Thompson. The book is called Creative Conspiracy, The New Rules of Breakthrough Collaboration. Just under that, we have the name of the author. Sometimes you'll have more than one. And at the bottom of the page, you will often see the name of the publisher. In this case, Harvard Business Review Press. Just under that, we have the name of the publishing city, in this case, Boston, Massachusetts. Sometimes you will have more than one, and if that's the case, you'll just take the first one to use in your citation. The only element we're not finding on this page is the date of publication. So what we can do is go to the copyright page and see that it was published in 2013. Now that we found all the information we need, we can create our citation. You should make note of the fact that unlike other citation styles, you will be using the author's full name rather than just their initials. Also make note of where periods exist in this citation style. Finally, remember to capitalize all important words of the title, excluding articles and prepositions, unless they come at the beginning of the title or subtitle. In this case, the word the is capitalized because it is the first word of the subtitle. This page contains some other useful sources you might want to check out if you get stuck as you're creating your citations. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions about citing sources using Chicago Style.